Hi Cyber Angels and new uh, viewers Welcome to Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm Shah uh, from the channel and I do readings and this week I'm using the Transparent Tarot by Emily Carding as well the second edition and I hope you will enjoy them this week it's going to be a different spread it's going to look like um, a film and if you um, would like to have an extensive reading then you find all the information below in the description box where you can find my website or the email etc etc um, I did have a lot of re positive reactions with this uh, deck it's a beautiful deck and um, I'm going to show you a different way of reading the cards in a different kind of spread um, and I hope you will enjoy it as much as last week okay please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified I've put a video out there um, on how to set uh, it in the settings um, because you have to not only do it on YouTube but you have to give YouTube permission um, to notify you so have a look at the video if you are not sure on what I mean um, you can do it on I've done it on the laptop and I've also done it on a mobile device okay so I hope that will help you get notified on your favorite channels all right let's get started let's go over to the reading take care and enjoy hi Taurus this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 14th to the 20th of uh, September and welcome back I'm doing a different spread with the transparent tarot and I hope you enjoyed it Aquarius and Sagittarius absolutely went off the chart with the likes and I hope it will uh, happen with you as well that this reading will be boom mind-blowing up to now they all have it's amazing this deck it's fun to work with and you can see the review under the playlists and also the time to shine cards by Anne Ellis Tarot she is the author and I will leave a link below because she also does readings give her a like or subscribe to her channel as well as she's just started on YouTube she's an amazing lady and there's also an interview with Anne Ellis um, under uh, news and information at the uh, in the playlists okay let's get started you are coming in because uh, I'm not doing the full cards because I'm building a period okay so that's you are going to get um, more cards uh, for the than the usual reading okay last week was really a great reading as well um, and now you're coming in with the six of cups if you are less fortunate in something then you might get a helping hand or a gift from somebody that's more fortunate in this deck we see a tall person being the grown-up and this is the small person uh, being a child so perhaps a child might come to you to seek advice or a helping hand a listening ear or you might be giving the ch your child or a child a helping hand a listening ear or a gift this could be a gift or a present or a gift of money this could also be helping a teenager in some in situations but if it is related to you and you're less fortunate you might be getting a gift of money or a helping hand moving home for instance or anything like that or a listening ear a problem aired is a problem sh shared and a problem shared is a problem aired so the load won't be so heavy to bear again if you are more fortunate you might be doing it also for an other grown up instead of a child everything is possible now we have the judgment card here which is represented by the Phoenix so something that's happening here at the beginning of the week or it could have been a little bit 
further in the past um, has made you set to thinking or motivated you to think or take action because you are rising from the ashes you've got a second chance a new beginning you feel strong and you're coming into action wow and you're you are bigger than before you are being noticed and look at what we've got here the ten of pentacles happy families the ultimate reward you're getting the reward there you are you are getting the reward for taking action and seeking advice it's been good advice and it's got you um, standing in good stead and you're receiving money there is an end to financial difficulties emotional difficulties as well because this is the cups and you are in balance as 10 is balanced but also an ending you might be uniting with somebody or joining up with somebody perhaps you asked advice shall I get married or not shall I live together or not yes you've got us all shall I go back you've got a second chance if you broke off in the relationship you are getting a second chance there's a new beginning where's an ending there's a new beginning 10 is full circle an end of a face so there's a new beginning you're going to start something new you're going to build let's see what you are going to build this is how it looks like in the film there you are you have been strong enough you've raised, risen from the ashes you feel stronger like I said you are more powerful than before you're getting recognized you know where you've come from you've been patient you've got this nurturing hand stretching out to you calming you petting you nurturing you loving you this could have been your mum this could have been your partner and they stood by you in a difficult time especially now that we are in the COVID people are losing jobs partnerships are falling apart now some people are realizing that is not so important the money it's being together that is important and you've taken somebody's advice perhaps your mother or your partner you've talked it out and you're coming together you're stronger you're actually now you're both rising from the ashes because look at the cards this is the couple stronger the looking towards the lion is looking to the panther is looking towards the couple being united sharing and they're rising from the ashes the three cards are one big picture amazing okay now I'm going to shake the cards and let's see what we get for the next level uh, I was taught to shake the cards so here we go look at that we've got the three of Pentacles okay the three is here but one two three it's clear enough to see let's let, get the film going I love this idea of the film rising out of the ashes you have been recognized for your strength for your love for your patience for your perseverance in taking action that's the Phoenix the judgment card okay and look the t three of Pentacles recognition for your hard work now you're qualified you're no longer the apprentice and you've been working hard and your work is going to deliver the ten of Pentacles so you might be expanding the family because you might be coming back together now you've got a job you've got a, a security a guarantee of a secure job so you might be expanding ready to expand the family you might have had um, an issue uh, before um, that one of you wanted a children 
and the other one said no but we've had a time apart but you realize that you love each other and you went to seek advice from somebody that's a parent perhaps because like I said this like I said in the beginning this is the grown up and this is the child perhaps there was issues with regards to getting pregnant or adopting or uh, wanting children and you've had your time apart because you've got the second chance of the Phoenix card the judgment card the Phoenix Phoenix rising from the ashes and is literally r running straight through him in his heart and there's a sign of the Pentacle from this card on his heart and his solar plex they've opened up they've spread their wings and now or you might off and now you're getting the second chance and you're expanding the family as the ten of uh, pentacles like the ten of cups means expansion okay an ending a new beginning uh, happy families being reunited with family and friends Ooh, that is and sharing perhaps sharing money perhaps grandparents might be coming to live with you or you are going to live with your parents to save money to expand your wings to be able to buy that house that you have your eye on perhaps you might get an inheritance now the last card is the Queen of Cups if you can see boom and that's going to finalize the reading again she's in the center now the Queen of Cups that's usually Scorpio okay and the panther it represents the lion in this deck so that is a Leo so those are the two prominent signs so if you're married with somebody that is a Leo or a Scorpio then um, or they could have Scorpio or Leo in their chart but I look at the Queen of Cups also as Cancer and Pisces she's a loving nurturing woman and this is enhancing the fact that there might be a pregnancy okay like if you're a man this could be your lady partner that didn't want to get pregnant because she was more career orientated because it's pointing to the money so now she realizes that she loves you dearly and she wants to be one with you because you are strong because you can spread your wings and you will take care and now the security is here because family is important and she wants to start the family with you the same with if you're married if you're a lady and you're married to uh, a, a Leo or an, an other sign uh, then uh, um, Taurus, Taurus, sorry, um, I'm sitting in another. Uh, yes, so Cancer. I had Cancer in my mind. I wanted to call you Cancer, but you're a Taurus. So Taurus, if you are, if if you have. Um, even if you're a female Taurus and you are getting uh, together with a fire sign the Leo or a Cancer Scorpio or a Pisces you will realize that you have this nurturing person beside you but perhaps you will find out that you're more nurturing because you are strong this is amazing Wow this this reading is taking off I'm getting information like nobody's business look at look at the Queen it's she's in your heart or it's your nurturing side Taurus okay somebody's in your heart it's on the left side of the uh, Phoenix I love it it's like if you want to close your wings and hug her amazing you want to protect her or you want to protect your female side that's your nurturing side you're gorgeous you're steady you're ste uh, like the Pentacles Taurus you're an earth sign you're down to earth you might be boring to some people if they don't understand you but you are caring you're nurturing 
they have to uh, understand you and now they do that's why they are coming back to you wow okay and will this uh, will we break up again no if you've got a question like this will they refuse to come back no that is not in the cards that's the message from the angel and you've got a big arcana card um, in the uh, time to shine deck and it says guilty f guilt fear and doubt don't have any fears don't have any doubts you've got your answer and the proof in the reading positivity optimism and love that is what is written on the bags or suitcases so they're coming back big time wisdom use your, your mind your knowledge time to let go of old fears and doubts and step forward with confidence these cards are amazing in the last reading in Pisces it got it in one as well and in Aquarius so go and have a look at Anne Ellis Tarot. I'll leave the link below. Be positive. Don't let look at the, the fears, the guilt on both sides. Boom. It's in on her back. On the back on behind her now. She's moving forward into positivity. Like the reading. I just want would like to um, add a little extra. Um, if you are a man, I know it sounds in the video. Uh, I'm talking about a woman but remember if you are a man Taurus you might be waiting for a lady and but this could also be your feminine side that you've opened your heart to the feminine side the nurturing caring loving passionate side of you okay so if you are a man you are opening up you're becoming bigger look at the phoenix he's spreading his wings and you are ready to let somebody in if you're not hooked up so if you're a man a lady might come back if you are a lady Taurus you are opening your heart to becoming uh, a mother nurturing loving caring even more so but in a different way you know that you are strong and you have patience look at this beautiful hand like a mother nurturing caring patience and giving the the lion in this case the love and nurturing and caring okay your strong side is coming out and your nurturing side you are nurturing and you are patient because you're steady and you're in the relationship or in in a job in a career you want to be nurturing strong and you want to be recognized and you have opened your heart and the understanding to that so it's magic it is really magic either way whether it's in a relationship or whether it is in a career you you you've become wiser you've grown up you're matured you're opening up all sides of yourself you're not scared okay you're not scared you've got the patience and you will communicate uh, seek advice share share and like give help where there is help necessary or you will be able to receive help because you've opened up well done prosperity and abundance is yours take care and enjoy the week stay safe and be blessed and please like and share ciao ciao